Napaba proudly presents the 2023 Napaba Military and Veteran Service Award to Lieutenant Colonel Brian W. Song. This award honors individuals within the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islanders legal community serving the U.S. Armed Forces and exhibiting the highest integrity, competency, and commitment to their community and their country while reflecting the highest standards of the armed forces. I think that a lot of life lessons from being in the military have sort of stuck with me throughout my career. Um, I've been lucky uh, to be a pro bono counsel uh, to the Sikh American Veterans Alliance for the last six years, I believe, at this point. And, you know, the mission there is uh, to allow people who are otherwise qualified to serve in the, in the military. Um, so this past year, uh, we had to file suit against the United States Marine Corps in order for a young Sikh American whose dream it was uh, to become a United States Marine with his religious articles of faith intact. And I didn't know much about Sikhism uh, before uh, you know, working on these cases. Um, but for me, it was sort of a fundamental uh, right and wrong issue that if you want to serve your country, you shouldn't have to face the choice of service or giving up your faith. And that's what these young men were, were faced with. Um, so I've been extremely blessed to have been part of a, a great uh, legal team, uh, uh, one with my firm, uh, associates at my firm that would work on the case, um, also with uh, the Sikh Coalition and uh, with uh, my co-counsel at Winston & Strong and with the Beckett uh, Foundation. Um, we were able to bring a suit in, in the District of Washington um, and we won um, this tremendous opinion from the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals that allowed our client uh, to go to boot camp. Uh, he did tremendously well. He was, uh, he graduated, he was selected as squad leader which showed his leadership and um, he's now uh, serving proudly um, with his religious articles intact. I would like to normalize a face like mine in a uniform like this. And that is important for that next generation as well, to understand that as an Asian American, uh, you can have as much pride in service of your country as the next person. Um, to know that you know, you're, you're wanted, um, you're needed uh, to serve uh, uh, quite a bit. One percent of the population serves in, in the U.S. military, and we need a military that reflects America. I mean, I think I've been on a very uncommon path overall. Um, I think the, uh, the Army JAG Corps has made tremendous strides over the course of my career. Uh, I remember not seeing a lot of you know, Asian faces uh, in uniform um, when I you know, first started, um, but seeing a lot more, at least in the, the more senior ranks now. Uh, and so while I certainly see more Asian faces wearing this rank or you know, the full colonel rank, uh, which is encouraging, uh, we still have progress to be made.